Bole! Sony Hao! Why go to Kakasa? Why go to Kakasa? Unfortunately, I visit. I missed your visit four years ago, almost to the day, day on the 4th of August 2015. We welcomed the Sridhar Mesh Sikh Pipe Band here, who are from Malaysia. Uh, 
We are here to remember Maharaja Dulit Singh and particularly his infant son who is buried here. But before I start, I do think it is appropriate to remember someone else, uh, Harbinder Singh Rana, who sadly passed away at the start of this year. Four, year, four years ago, Harbinder was here and he gave an, a very eloquent and passionate speech and he was so instrumental and central to the setup of the Anglo Sikh Heritage Trail, of which this is part. And you're going to see, with the pipe band, we're going to see a Carl Tominis, uh, where the Maharaja, the Maharaja Dulit Singh, uh, stayed here uh, <coughs> for a period of nearly five years in his late teens. He, the Maharaja Dulit Singh was born in 1838 and died in 1893. He was the last Maharaja of the Sikh Empire. His father, Maharaja Ranjit Singh, he was the younger son. Ranjit Singh was known as the Lion of the Punjab. On the way here, we noticed a slight uh, interesting link because uh, <coughs> the meaning of Punjab is five rivers. Aberfeldy has the same root word, ab means river, in the old British language that's spoken here. And when we visited the Punjab, my sister-in-law, who is fluent Welsh speaker, uh, asked, what, is it, what does the name of Punjab mean? And we're told, five rivers. And she said, oh, it's the same in Welsh, pump ab. <laughs> so there's another connection. I think there's a particularly uh, poignant connection for our family. Uh, my great-grandfather, Thomas Rattray, raised the regiment in the Indian Army, which to this day is still known as the Rattrays. The 3rd Sikh Battalion in the Sikh Regiment is known as Rattrays. They also have a pipe band, and they also wear the Rattray tartan. And so we are very proud of that connection, and we always look to welcome Sikhs as part of our clan and our greater clan, and... It's wonderful to see you all here today. Good morning to everybody. Good morning. Good you morning. can't imagine how happy we are to be here. As I was contemplating our visit, I thought about what events or events in history that has brought us all together, our nations, our communities. We from the Indian religions believe in karma. This child, he lived for only a day, but he has brought our nations together. That is karma. He had to come to this earth for less than 24 hours so that we could be all together, even if hundreds of years later. It's very heartwarming for me, for us. Maybe I can speak on behalf of the whole Sikh community that we have this bond, that we have this friendship. And I can only see it getting stronger as it has been for me, because when I was here four years ago, it was the first time I really became aware at the age of 60 how deep these roots go. And it was only after that visit here that I started to delve really deep into this part of our history. For whatever reason, most Sikhs were not very much in touch of, with, you know, this is just so remote from, <laughs> from where we are. <laughs> Sorry, not like that remote, but remote from where we are, you know, and uh, just like 
Punjab would be what light years away from from, from here. Mm -hmm. And but after my visit here was when I first became so interested and so excited. Yeah, history is painful for most races, for most people. You know, there's always things that are unpleasant that have happened in the past, but no, but no, karma. This was, it was meant for this greater good. It was for this great coming together of communities and nations and people. And I, from the activity that I see on the internet now, among the Sikhs, the consciousness, the awareness that is coming up about these events, Maharaja Dilip Singh's coming, coming to England and then up here to Scotland and all of these, and there is so much more awareness now. You can expect more visitors from the Sikh community, <laughs> surely. And the um, Anglo-Sikh Heritage Trail, and we just heard from Thomas uh, just now about um, the work that is going on in the background. It's a great loss, personally for me as well, we, when we lost Harbinda, I think he was the chairman of that, and I was working with him to really strengthen these bonds. We had some plans and everything, you know, but it was just halted because of, we lost him early in the year, but we hope to work, do some more work, and really strengthen this and I don't know, but more for, for the Sikhs. We, we really need to know about this part of our history. As you might be a bit more familiar than us, but our children don't know about this part of our history. And I really would like to spend you know, a lot of energy working in that area. And this baby, this little infant, has become the bridge for our communities bringing us together and Harbinda was the second bridge. We've lost him, I'm sure God has a plan. Someone else will take his place and we will grow. Thank you very much.
gente. Con el toque para el Zabal. ¡Ra! We have to watch because we're yep. running a bit late. Yeah. So. Okay, if you can form up here and uh well, shall I show you where you go? Yeah. So guys, if you hang fight here and I'll take him back. Yeah. here, just circle on the left. Drums, seat pipe band, and welcome to Scotland 
and to tackle my head. And I hope good luck at the World Championship of the Cup of Day. Thank you for coming here and taking part in our little ceremony to commemorate His Royal Highness the Maharaja Julak Singh, who was the last emperor of your nation, who lived at this castle in 1857. So I'm going to ask the drum major to come forward and hoist this flag for the first time over Castle Mayor. Drum major. Pipes and drums, I want three good cheers for yourself, for Julat Singh, and for your band. <coughs> hip, hip, hooray! Hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! Well done. What's good? What's good?
to welcome the Sri Dasmesh Zeke Pipe Band who have come all the way from Malaysia to compete in the World Piping Championships due to be held in Glasgow on the 17th and 18th of this month. The band is here for two reasons, for the World Championships, but also because the last Maharaja of the Sikh Empire spent five years living at Castle Muni, close to Amapaldi, as you know. The last Maharaja was also a very frequent visitor to Blair Castle. So he lived in Scotland for five years, and this morning we commemorated the very sad death of his son, who is buried in Aberfeldy. So we are here to mark that, uh, but also to welcome our friends from Malaysia and wish them luck in the World Championships in a few days' time. Beautiful!